Welcome to Specific Girl English. In this video you find and you use language to talk about what happened, in this case with sales and product performance. So what text do you find this language in? The answer to that question is any native speaker text that you want to make yourself. This might be an email, a report or a presentation or perhaps something else. The main thing is, is that this is the type of text you want to make. What do you need to remember when looking at this text? Well, the main thing to remember is that language happens in real life. So, firstly, there is a context of your text. Secondly, there is a specific writer and there is, probably, a specific reader. The last thing to remember is that this writer has an aim. They want to achieve something by writing this message to the reader. All of these things will affect the language that you find in the text and how it is used. In terms of the language itself, you need to have a look for the actor, the action and the acted upon. Let's look at an example. Okay, my company's bio. I don't have any emails or presentations. I'm going to use the bio annual report. In the annual report, you can find some nice reporting language. Overview of sales, earnings, financial position. So here is part of the report. I'm going to put it in a document so we can see it. Okay, before we look at the language, we think about the context. So the context is reporting about sales and performance of products in this company. The writer is someone in the company, but the reader is not in the company. The reader is a person with money who is thinking about which company to choose. So the aim of the writer is to show this reader how good this company is. This will affect the type of language used. So you need to remember that. Let's look at the language. Like I said before, we need to look for the actor or the, ob the subject noun. So here we the subject noun, which I call the actor, we. We can put that in our table here, actor, subject, noun, we. So, what are the other actors or subject nouns in this report? We, healthcare, a product name. So a product name can also be an actor. What's another one? Crop science, another product. We, we. So you can see in this type of writing, it's very important to show we, 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 we are so good. Crop science, what a wonderful product. Healthcare, what a wonderful product. Okay, what are the actions? So we say we saw. We saw, that's the action we saw. We saw what? What did we see? Here is the acted upon. We saw continuous growth. So our combination is C continuous growth. Next one. What's another action? Met. Hello. How are you today? I met him on the street. Met. Met a person. But did we meet a person? No. We met important business objectives. So the combination here is meet objectives. To meet objectives is our combination. We meet objectives in this company. Healthcare, the product. Posted. Post. We can post a letter to a friend. In this context, what did we post? We posted excellent sales gains. Posted excellent sales gains. So here, not we, but healthcare, the product. Posted gains. Sales gains. So... Look at that. Continuous growth. Important business objectives. Excellent sales gains. As you can see, the aim, the purpose is to be very positive. The language is very positive. So this is where you need to be careful because maybe your aim is to show the reader that the situation isn't very good. And because of this, your targets, your sales targets should be lower. In this case, you would put less positive language. We saw some growth, but not much. Please do not increase my sales targets. We met some business objectives. We posted 
poor sales gains, perhaps. Yep. Be careful. If you don't want to be negative, this is bad. Okay, what else there? We achieved. What did we achieve? Our operational targets overall. We achieved. Operational targets. Okay, so here we can already see we're building language. Meet objectives, but we can also meet targets. Achieve targets, but we can also achieve our objectives. Be careful when you find your combinations. Don't experiment when you write. Use them in the same context with the same combination as you find them and you will be safe. I'm just teaching you a little bit here. Okay, let's have a little bit look at some more language in here. Group sales. Okay, so here we have statistics about sales and not general overall performance. Okay, group sales advanced. So here our actor is group sales. Group sales. Group sales. I'll put it down here. Group sales. They advanced advanced. What did they advanced? Here yeah, there's nothing that they advanced but you've got a very important preposition. They advanced by 5% 5.1% on a currency and portfolio adjusted basis. Advanced by 5% on a currency and portfolio adjusted basis. The next one, two. That's the preposition. They advanced two. So, look at this. Advanced by, but I can also say advanced two. Be careful with the prepositions. Very careful. Advanced two. Sales at healthcare climbed by. <whistles> they climbed. A person climbs a mountain. Sales climb as well. Amazing, isn't it? By 6.8%. So it's interesting. A lot of people make a mistake with this preposition. They say they climbed on 6.8, but that's wrong. Climbed by. Yep. Oh, posted. Wonderful. There it is again. Posted, which we have here. Maybe it's a different combination. A substantial sales gain. <laughs> so here we have posted poor. But here we have sales gains. We can post a substantial sales gain. How wonderful is that? So you can see very quickly you can build up lots of different combinations with the action verb, with the acted upon, the noun here, the object, also adjective, substantial, significant. I just want to say once again, please remember the context, who the writer is and who the reader is in the aim, and be careful not to mix up, not to change the act of the actions and the acted upon, because you can never know exactly what that change will mean. If you follow this advice and you find the good texts that you want to make yourself, very quickly you will improve your specific, specific goal English.